Good morning, it's Burtmas Day 9 and I'm not really sure what we're gonna do today. I think we are going to work on the floor a little bit. I just rolled out of the bed, which is why I look so fucking good right now. I don't really know what else we're gonna do today. I'm not gonna work out today because yesterday it was just exhausting and today would be like my typical like rest day. So I'm not gonna do any of that today and then we'll be back at it again tomorrow. So it's just gonna be like a typical Sunday with me. It's usually a lot of like laying around editing and stuff like that. So hopefully I get some editing done today and yeah, I don't really know what else is going on. So we will see. What you babies doing? What you doing my boys? Set, set, good boy. That's a good boy, Mimo. Ozzy's not, not bothered. Um, <laughs> he just stepped on one of the little plastic things that goes in between. Hi Ozzy baby. Hi Ozzy. Remo, come on, get. <laughs> come on. Good morning, sunshine. Human nature Good morning. One o'clock. It looks like morning to you. Still assed out in bed. Now in the interim, you have to I know. Shannon's had like two days of hangover right now. My head is fucking killing me. Are we working on the floor today? Yes, we are. Okay, let's get up and let's yeah. get up and do it. Uh, husband and wife. Okay. Making our dream home our dream home. That's right. All right, get up. I'm up. <laughs> Okay, so Shannon just left and I'm just like, I don't want to fucking do this today. So I figure, let's look at all the candles and some makeup that I picked up recently because I wanted to talk about this the other day and then I never got to it. So let's go into my Bath & Body Works haul and then I've got some stuff from Sephora, Ulta, Elf Cosmetics, and LC Cosmetics. So let's just jump right in. I got a lot of candles, especially they were $8.95 and I love Bath & Body Works candles so I always stock up. It's so depressing though because I have so much construction going on. I can't burn them like I want to, but I still couldn't turn down $8.95 candles. So the first one that I got is Cherry Frost, but I don't remember buying this one. Yeah, this is not a scent that I would typically buy, so not really sure why I got that one, but that's okay. I can always exchange it. So next one is going to be Mahogany Apple. This is one of my favorite scents. I love Mahogany Teakwood but I love having the apple scent in it because it gives you like that little bit of like Christmassy vibes, but I feel like the apple really balances everything out. This one is just one of my all time favorites from Bath and Body Works. And I wanted to mention this too. I really like buying my candles online with Bath and Body Works because one, I hate carrying them through the mall. But another reason why is because they're always packaged so nicely. Like they individually package every single candle. So I don't know, it's just a convenience thing. So I really like ordering from online. So this one's going to be Cactus Blossom. I do not remember buying this one either. Like this is just not a scent that I would typically go for. This one smells a little bit better, but it's just not a scent that I would go for. So I wonder if they totally messed up my order. So <laughs> let's just keep going and see. I know that I did buy the Mahogany Apple, so maybe some just got kind of switched out. But next one will be Frosted Coconut Snowball. I didn't think I got this one either because coconut isn't really my vibe during the winter time. That's why I don't think I got this one either. I mean, maybe I added like the wrong ones to my cart, but yeah, like this smells good. This would be a scent that I love, but it's just not for this time of year. This is so weird. I've never had this many candles. I'm, I'm curious to check my receipt because I don't think that I ordered that one either. Cranberry Pear Bellini. This is another one I wouldn't have got. Did I get somebody else's order right now? Like, is this addressed to me? Yeah, this is supposed to be my order. This is not one I would have bought either. Cranberry Pear Bellini. Yeah, this smells very good. I love like the peach Bellini. This smells really good too, but not a scent that I would typically go for for winter time. Like I'm into like fireside, marshmallow fireside, gooey marshmallow, which I missed that one. I wonder if they just like ran out of some of the candles and just sent some, I don't know. Maybe they just mixed up the ones, I don't know. But the next one is going to be blueberry sugar. I heard Babs Beauty raving about this and I think it was her Insta story. Okay, this smells good. This one's going to be creamy nutmeg. Now I know that I ordered this one because this was one of their like online only that just launched. This one's very, very subtle. I feel like it's very appropriate for this time of year. It reminds me of like having your family over during holidays and stuff. And it has like a slight like 
cinnamony smell to it, I think. I'm really bad at explaining scents and stuff. That's why I'm like, what do I talk about when I do a candle haul when I can't explain what the scents smell like? Uh, next one is Watermelon Lemonade. I did not order this one. They really screwed this one up. So Bath & Body Works, I love you, but I've never had this many issues with the candles that I ordered. So yeah, this is definitely not my vibe for holiday time, especially springtime. Definitely, I think it smells really good, but that's just not my scent for winter time. I keep saying the same thing, but this is pretty frustrating because I was so excited about this. Uh, next one is going to be Fresh Sparkling Snow. I know that I ordered this one. This one's, I think this one was one of the, um, the brand new ones. This one, I don't know if I'll keep this one because this has a very subtle scent to it. And I like a really like pigmented scent of the candle. So I don't know if I'm going to keep that one. So the next one is going to be the Tis the Season set. And this is definitely a true like holiday scent. It's got that cinnamon smell to it. It smells almost like a cranberry cinnamon. I really like that one. That one is the correct one that I ordered. <laughs> um, next one will be mahogany teakwood. I don't remember ordering a mahogany teakwood. I remembered ordering two of these mahogany apple scents. So I may keep this one. I already know how it smells. This one I really like for like Evan's room or if we need like a more masculine set in our room so i know shannon really likes this as well it's just a very like sexy man type of set so i know i didn't order that one but i'm happy that i got it if i end up keeping it because i do like the scent of that one um next one is winter candy apple i can't remember if i got this one or not but let's smell it anyways I feel like this one i don't love either i feel like these don't really smell like usually bath and body works have like a really heavily scented candle and these ones really don't have that smell I'm really disappointed right now. Okay, next one is another one I know I didn't order. Red Velvet Cupcake. It smells good, but not my vibe. What the heck is going on? Let's see what's left in here. I've got two more left. We've got Midnight Blue Citrus, not a scent that I ordered. Not my vibe for winter time at all. It's more of a summery scent. Oh my God, can you guys tell I'm annoyed right now? Arctic Berry. I literally got three candles out of 15 that I know for sure that I ordered. I don't even think I ordered 15. I think I ordered 14 candles. I really need to look at my receipt. So if you ordered from Bath and Body Works, make sure you check your order because mine is literally all completely wrong. So majority of these are going to be going back, which is so annoying because that's why I order them online because I don't want to go in store <laughs> with this many candles, but now I have to because I paid $8.95 for all of these. So that's super annoying, but at least I'll get the sense that I know that I want. So we will be bringing a lot of these back to the store, unfortunately. Okay, so now that candle day was a complete fail as far as haulage goes, we're going to move on to a foundation I saw on Instagram. It's supposed to be a color changing foundation. Now, I bought this for a video to see if it actually worked, but I want to know if you guys have ever tried this before. It's from TLM Foundation. It's the TLM Foundation Color Changing and Adjusting Naked. So... I'm curious to see if it works. It says it's going to be an all day flawless lip from within complexion, perfectly flawless finish. And it's going to have SPF 15 in it and it in the bottle is like completely white. So I will be doing a video on this hopefully soon. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. If you're interested in that, if that actually works, that'll be so cool because I change complexions throughout the year. So it'd be cool to have one foundation that would match me all year round. You know what I mean? So this was like the week of foundation. So these were like my samples and everything. And then online perk was having the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primers. I got like a package of, I think five of them, or it feels like there's more than five in here. This is my favorite face primer. And then the Fenty Beauty, um, what is it? The primer and foundation. So I'm curious to try that foundation out. When I first got it, I liked it, but then the more that I used it, I didn't like it. So I'm curious to try it again because my taste since then and foundations has changed a lot. Then I just got like a hair care sample, but then I got some of the Sephora brushes that were um, the weekly wow. So I got the Sephora 92. This is the Pro Featherweight Fan. I got this mainly because I love these types of brushes for bronzer, especially like it just fits so nicely. And these brushes are so freaking soft. This was the only one that I know for a fact that I wanted, but I got these two just to kind of see how they were in person. So I picked up the 90 and the 38. So the 90 I think is going to be good for like an under eye brush or something like that, maybe blush. But these brushes are so ridiculously soft and the fact that they were like 10 to 20 bucks. So the Sephora 38 brush is the featherweight crease brush. I'm just really wanting to change up my brushes. I have a lot of Morphe brushes and they're just a brand that I'm kind of over at the moment. So. 
This is just the traditional crease brush. So Ulta's been having, I think, it's almost like their 21 Days of Beauty or like hot buys and stuff like that. So they had the Bare Minerals Bare Pro 24 hour performance wear liquid foundation. I've been wanting to try this for the longest time. I hear Katie or Luster Lux rave about this all the time. So I've been wanting to try it for a long time now. And this looks very yellow and a little bit too light. I got the shade Sandalwood. So I think I'm going to have to switch this out. If you guys want wear tests on any of these, let me know because I do really like doing wear tests for foundations. And then the next two that I got were for a video. So I got the L'Oreal True Match. I guess they reformulated this. The packaging is still the same. And then I also got the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I actually wore this yesterday just to kind of get a feel for how it wears and stuff. But I want to see these two compared on each side of my face because they're very similar. Like all the claims are almost identical. And it just seems to me like the packaging is the only difference. And this one I think was $10.99 and this one is $14.99. So I wanted to see how different they really were for being like a $4 difference. You know what I mean? So I wanted to try these out and especially like the infallible one. I love the infallible line for foundations. So I wanted to try that out. And then since L'Oreal was buy one, get one half off, the infallible foundation didn't qualify for the buy one, get one half off. So I wanted another makeup sponge. So I just got this with my half off. It's the L'Oreal Blend Artist Sponge. So that was everything I got from Sephora and Ulta. And then I placed an order for e.l.f. Cosmetics and I got the Poreless Putty Primer. It's in the shade Universal Sheer. I got this to compare to my favorite primer, the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, because they're saying that it's supposed to be a dupe for that. So this is $8. The Tatcha one is like $52. So if this is even close to the same, that's definitely worth it for that type of price difference. So I'll do a video on that as well. And then I got my last order from LC Cosmetics and I'm going to try to put this off using these until 2019 because this is a brand that I want to put in my brands I want to try in 2019. I've been wanting to try this brand forever now and then they had 30% off on um, I think it was Black Friday or Cyber Monday and I decided to get a couple things. There was more things that I wanted to get but they were all sold out. So I ended up picking up the what is it the micro silk foundation. This is like the big one that I wanted to try for the longest time and then I saw these highlighters that they just launched the what are these called? The Eclipse highlighters, I think they're called. And then I got the shade Luna. I'll show you guys the inside of the packaging. I love the boxes. I think they're really cheeky deeky. And go figure, as soon as I'm almost done, my camera shuts off. So back to the foundation. So this is what the packaging looks like. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it too good from there. But the Micro Silk Foundation, I wanted to try this for years now. And I just never, I don't know. I don't know why I've never ordered from them, but this is like the main reason that made me order. And then obviously the 30% off was a huge incentive for me as well because I kept saying I'm like I just need like a sale or something so this is what the highlighters look like I hope you guys can see it from there the inside of the packaging looks so freaking beautiful this is actually more bulky than I thought it was gonna be I really like the packaging I really like the aesthetics of LC Cosmetics so I'm going to try to hold off until either I get more products from them or just 2019 I'm gonna try to hold off until then because I want these to be one of the brands that I try in 2019 because I want to see how I feel like throughout the year when it comes to this brand so that is going to be everything that I got from Bath and Body Works, Ulta, Sephora, LC Cosmetics, and Elf Cosmetics. I'm not sure what's gonna go on for the rest of the day but I don't know I guess we'll see. <laughs> I just looked at my receipt. This makes total sense now because this is an order for Casey Williams in Texas. <laughs> Lazy bitch. <laughs> just living my best fucking life. Ain't that right, Remo? How much did we do today, love? <laughs> two. Two things? Two percent. Oh, two percent. <laughs> We've been in bed all day today. Pajamas, shoes. I know, shoes on the bed, cute. Sorry. So I think that's everything for today's vlog. We haven't done a fucking thing all day today except lay in bed, much needed. Um, more progress on the floor tomorrow, right love? Yes ma'am. And then I have to go meet with some people now, but I still have to edit, upload and all that stuff for this. So. Tomorrow's video will be a yes or yawn because it's Monday and then we'll show you some floor updates and then we'll see what else comes for tomorrow. So we hope to see you guys in tomorrow's Britmas. Say bye. Peace, bridges. Yes. <laughs>